What's up y'all? Welcome back and welcome to my end of the year declutter series. I didn't do one mid-year and that means that this is long overdue. I'm putting myself into the savage mindset and I wanted to let y'all know up front kind of the way that I declutter because I do have an encyclopedic collection. If it is expired, this time it's out. If I need it and it's like something that lives in my long-term memory, I will rebuy it if it still exists. But right now, this declutter, we are going to get rid of anything that's expired, even if it's something that I would typically want to swatch for y'all. And anything that is usable that I want to get rid of and pass along that still is, you know, within its expiration date, its usability date, I put aside, I bring it to my child's daycare and give it to all of the lovely caretakers there. They are used to kind of my big holiday drop. So that's where the makeup goes. And anything that I am decluttering that's just like gross and old and whatever, it's going to go through TerraCycle. And as far as timing is concerned, like how I'm going to divide this up, I'm just going to record until I run out of cards space or until my batteries run out, whichever happens first, and that's how we will make the decision. So let's go ahead and jump in. We are starting with concealers. <laughs> All right. Savage mindset, savage mindset, savage mindset. Okay. Keeping my Chanel Sublimage Letant. This is the Sublimage Le Corrector Yup. Yes, French. I'm so good at it. I love this stuff. It stays. Keeping my NARS Creamy Concealer, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have this in the shade Vanilla. I'm going to pass along these, well, wait a second. Yeah, these two. The Bobbi Brown ones, just because they're not really for me and they are brand spanking new, so someone will enjoy them. This is expired. <laughs> this is an e.l.f. concealer and it is gone gone. I'm going to pass along all of these Koki concealers. While this also wasn't the greatest shade range in the world, and by that I mean it was a terrible shade range, I also didn't really like the performance of the formula, so I don't recommend this and someone else will get use out of it. Oh wait, they sent me five of them. And there are only 10 shades in the entire line, and look at these shades. Those are five different shades. Yeah, don't adjust your televisions. You know, I might bring this to Tom or see if Natalie wants it. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer and it just wasn't for me. Pour one out for Item Beauty. I do think that this brand is done with, but I did really like this concealer. Unfortunately, this is very expired. Keeping all of my Givenchy Prism Libre skin and concealers because they are great. So I've got one, it's like I can actually feel that like this one is more full, this one is close to empty, and obviously this one's brand new, so those stay. Shantae, you stay. Oh look, a mascara. How did you get in there? What is this? This is the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smoothwear Concealer. Ooh! Yes, that's expired. That's got a real smell to it. This is kind of a snafu where Beauty Pie sent me some of their new releases and they are just the wrong shade. <laughs> so I will pass this along because I'm sure that it's beautiful. I just can't use it. My Tower 28 concealers stay because I love them so much. I'm pretty sure that this Cool Fee concealer, while I liked it, I didn't love it. It doesn't smell weird, but I think that I bought this in like 2020 or 2021. I think this is old as the hills, so I'm going to declutter that. I also love the Thrive Concealer. This is so good, but I think that she is also expired. I will just need to get a new one of this. This is pretty new. This is the Sephora Concealer. This is the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer, and I have it in the shade Fondant, and it is lovely. It's just beautiful. So I just got this. I'm gonna hold on to that. I kind of liked this. This is the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury, but as you can see, I bought way too light of a shade. Oh my gosh, it is a six month expiration date. No, sorry. <laughs> a Charlotte Tilbury product? I guess she did switch away from some of the more kind of contentious preservatives out of, you know, just kind of industry pressure. So that's probably why. All right, I have two shades in the Ritual Defeat and I bought these this year, I'm pretty sure. Mm, no, NYX I've had for a really long time. So I'm gonna get rid of that, but I'm gonna hold on to Galatea because I have had this not very long. I bought it when I bought the three drop foundation. I'll just hold on to it for a little while longer in case I need to, you know, swatch it or whatever, but it's not my favorite. I have ColourPop Pretty Fresh and again, like just the wild, most wildly light shade. I will pass this along. I got this at Creators and Friends because there was a lot of ColourPop for the taking and I ended up with two shades that have nothing to do with my skin tone and they're basically brand new. This is not a concealer. This is the Rare Beauty Under Eye Corrector. I have so many other products like this that I feel like do a better job and I barely used it and it's definitely 
still within its expiration date, so I'm going to pass this along. This is unfortunately discontinued. This is a really great concealer, as you can tell by how much of it I've used. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer, but she's super duper expired, so bye bye. I'm gonna hold on to one of the Surat Dewdrop Concealers in the shade three because it is a fantastic shade for me. It's just really, really good, and I wanna get more use out of it. And then one, I will go ahead and pass along because it's like super light. I love the Oma concealers. I am really just kind of sad about the news with Oma. Apparently people like aren't getting their orders and things like that. They did just get acquired, so I don't know, but I do wanna hold on to White Pearl T1, which is my favorite shade. And then I will take this one, which is again, basically brand new, so beautiful. And I will pass that along. It's still usable for sure. This from Saint Cosmetics. It's a beautiful silicone free concealer. Silicone free concealers are not as uncommon as they used to be. And so it's, you know, it's a good concealer, but it's not all that remarkable. And I've had it for ages. So I'm going to declutter that. I'm actually going to hold on to this. I like it. And it's fairly new, even though it's so gross looking. I've definitely not even had this a year. So this is the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. And <laughs> It's like my one drugstore concealer, but I like it. What is this? Oh my gosh, okay, so they sent me two of these. Bare Minerals really had a weird year for complexion. They sent me some really strange complexion products that didn't work for me. So as much as I love the Complexion Rescue skin tint, it's beautiful. The Complexion Rescue concealer was not it. I think this one, since it's been opened, is too old. But this one obviously is still in the package and has not been touched, so I will pass that along. This is my shade in the Glossier Concealer, so I'm going to hold on to her. This is the Typology. Yeah, this is the concealer. They finally, I should finally, but I mean like they, when they first came out with them, there was no shade for me. And this one is actually light enough for me and it's very pretty, but I, I have no earthly clue how long I've had this and I just don't reach for it. So I'm going to declutter that. No idea how long I've had this, none whatsoever. I think that this was part of like a drugstore dupes video. This is the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Concealer. And I think that it has like really good reviews. Wow, that's like really peach for me, yikes. And the expiration on this is six months. So that's gotta go, sorry baby. I adore these. These are the pencils from Jones Road. They are really, really good concealers to just kind of have in your bag. They totally disappear into the skin. I need to get some sharpeners that are a sharpener that is like this size though, but I'm going to hold on to those. This is the Make Beauty Skin Mimetic Concealer in too deep of a shade for me. So I have actually, they sent me a lot of these in different shades to try when they first came out. And my friends have all kind of absorbed them because I've tended to run into people and have people over at my house that really like the formula. And they tended to like, you know, be able to find their match in what I had. This is the only one I have left and it's not for me. So I'm going to pass that along. I'm also going to pass along the Doll 10 this covers everything, super coverage concealer. It's pretty, but the shade range is virtually abysmal and it's just not something that I see myself talking about on my channel in the future. This is just basically stash. You know, these are brand new. I have very light four and very light three that I received in PR from Glossier. And typically I would just pass these along, but I'm not sure exactly what these shades are, whether they match me or not. So I'm gonna hold on to them for now. Here is a completely unopened Surat Perfectionist concealer palette. And that's because that's not my shade. This is my shade. This is beautiful. Not a ton of products, but it is really nice, especially for travel. And I'm going to hold on to this one and I'm going to pass along the completely unopened one. Another Complexion Rescue Brightening Concealer that gets passed along. Another Stay Woke Concealer. This is in White Pearl T0.5. Yeah, she is still fine. So that's going to get passed along. Very certain that this is expired. Ooh, yeah. This is the Kosas Concealer. I love this, but you know, it does have a pretty short shelf life. So I'm going to declutter that. I have one more of the Jones Road little pencils here. So that's nice. I'll keep that. And then what's this? Yenza. Okay. So Yenza sent me a bunch of stuff. I'm kind of in their gifting list now. Their foundation that they sent was too light, but that's a pretty darn good concealer match. I'm going to hold on to that at least for swatching sake, but it's a great formula. So that means that we are decluttering. Wait, 13. 13 are getting decluttered. 20 are getting donated. And, and, and I'm keeping 20. So those go back in the drawer. Ooh, I feel better already. Okay, next we have foundations. Oh my word. Ah! Oh my God. 
god, <laughs> there are so many, y'all. This is absolutely insane. Okay, let's crack on. <sighs> I'm going to keep my new from YSL. I love this stuff, and it is pretty darn brand new. Doll 10, I'm passing it along for the same reasons. This is definitely expired, my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I'm going to keep all of my Chanel foundations that match me. So we have the Sublimage Le Sens de Temps with the wrong lid on it. There's another lid. Literally, there are Chanel lids floating around everywhere. I think this goes to my rosy light drops. So keeping this, I see the lid over there. I'll make sure that that's standing up in the meantime. Where are my other Chanel's? Keeping my Sublimage Le Temps because it's like literally almost done. So I'm excited to finish it. I think it's time for the Fenty Ease Drop to be retired. I definitely had this for a really long time. So declutter. The Terracotta Le Temps. I don't really like this formula. It's a beautiful fit formula for someone else, basically. So I'm going to pass that along. I'm going to declutter the Le Beige Eau de Temps from Chanel. Actually, I said I was going to keep all of my Chanel's, but like this one just doesn't make any difference to me. Declutter it. It's definitely old as well. Holding on to, I just got this, the Prism Libre Skin Care and Glow Foundation from Givenchy. This one's really, really lovely. I have a lot of the Kosas foundations, <laughs> like a lot. They, you know, tend to kind of send them out in gifting and only one of them matches me and I think it's the one with the lid off here. So very light neutral 100, 120, very light cool 120 and very light neutral 110. Although how long is the expiration on this? 12 months. That is, yeah, very light cool 120. I think that that is my shade of memory serves. So I think the one without the lid is older. So I'm going to declutter that and then I will pass these two along because they are unused. And then this one I will hold on to at least for swatching in the meantime. It will probably won't survive the next declutter just for expiration date purposes. This one's expired. I love this. The Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer from Laura Mercier, but it's definitely expired. So she is going to go. I love this. It's probably getting pretty close to expired. It's a 12 month. This is the RMS Reevolve Natural Finish Foundation. The beauty of this is the entire component is replaceable or sorry, the interior component is replaceable. Even if I need a new one, I don't have to get rid of this component. So I'm going to obviously hold on to that. I just got this. I was very excited that they took the Octanoxate out of the Vita Lumiere Aqua. It's a little bit more matte. I got it in 10 beige. It's quite lovely. I'm excited to wear it in the summer, but keeping it. I've been actually really impressed by this lately, and I don't even know where the lid is. I need to find it. <laughs> this is the BFF Serum De-Stress from Trini London, and it's just freaking beautiful. Like, it's just this really lightweight kind of tinted primer that has glow to it. It's it's just really flattering and I like it a lot. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Here is the Yummy Skin from Danessa Myricks. I don't think anybody wants that. You know what I mean? Like that's just been touched. I'm gonna just declutter that. That's not for me. This I never even really used because it's like so full coverage and it's too light of a shade for me. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. I don't know why the packaging just gave skin tint to me and it is not a skin tint, it is a foundation. So that was my bad, but someone else will love it. Same thing with the Yenza, it's just too light of a shade for me. This is so beautiful. I know Lauren May really, really loves this formula. I want to get a better idea how I feel about this formula because I just couldn't really get my head around it because the color was so off. So in the future, I want to try this again, but this bottle of it in particular needs to go to another home. Okay, Buildable Blur. I have had these for too long. This was the re-release of the CC cream from Thrive and I love them, but they're expired. Surat, we have the Dewdrop Foundation, which is, you know, not really my thing. And this is in the shade 1.5. I think I'll probably give this to Tom. I'm going to see them for New Year's. So I will put together a Tom pile, basically. This is their favorite foundation, so why not? This is the Surreal Skin Foundation in, and Tom showed us all that you can actually pull the brush off of this. <sighs> you can, I'm not sure how, but I know it's possible. Either way, this is not my shade. <laughs> It's not my thing. And no one wants something that has this like brush on it that's been used by someone else. So I'm gonna declutter this. This, unfortunately, I've had for so long, it is definitely expired. So this is the Traceless Foundation Stake from Tom Ford. I was so wearing up and down that I was going to buy my shade in it because this is a little bit too light. It's more of a concealer shade for me. It is 0, 0.0 Pearl, but apparently it's being discontinued. So not going to do that. <laughs> okay, we have the Gior. This is the new reformulation 
formulation of the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Is this my favorite thing in the world? No, but I understand the reason that this exists and why makeup artists love it. When we talk about how the Makeup by Mario foundation is disappointing because typically a makeup artist owned foundation is going to be kind of like squarely in the middle of dewy and matte. Apologies, had to change my battery. When we're talking about foundations that are adaptable to different skin types, this is what we're talking about. That's what the Dior does. And so I'm going to hold on to it for, I mean, I bought it pretty recently regardless, but I'm gonna hold on to it for those purposes just to have that as kind of like a landmark in my collection. This is easy. <laughs> this is the Makeup by Mario foundation. I think that I have had a date with decluttering this for a long, long time and it feels good to just say goodbye. It's just not good. Here I have the Chantecaille Future Skin Cushion. I don't see me using this anymore, although I did use the crap out of it. This is actually the replacement cushion. So this is expired. I liked it, but it's not very much coverage. It is my mother's favorite thing in the world. I gave her the next deeper shade and she literally swears by it. So this is a fantastic product. It's so utterly beautiful, but like, it's just not my favorite go-to thing and it's expired. Holding on to my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. This was in my end of the year favorites. I love her so much. A plus, I just keep getting really great feedback from y'all about it. You say that you bought it, you're like, yep, it's awesome. Easy, keeping my CL. Very, very beautiful, great, lightweight sunscreen skin tint. I am going to pass along my UMA ones just because as far as this, you know, foundation finish, it's just not really for me, but they're really lovely. The Summer Fridays skin tint. God, I, I have no idea what I think about this. I'm going to clean this bad boy up and pass it along. Oh, wait a second. No, I think I bought it two summers ago and this is 12 months. Yeah, this has got to go actually. Also, this is super expired. The Super Serum Skin Tint from Ilya by, we haven't heard from Ilya in a while. They tried to release some eyeshadow sticks, like re-release their eyeshadow sticks recently. And then they said that they were gonna push it to 2024. So like, I really haven't heard much from them lately. So this is the Iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin. <laughs> I literally, like, this just, like, doesn't stay in my memory. I don't know why. It's very pretty. Not quite the ideal shade for me. I'm gonna pass that along. It's just not for me, and it literally doesn't stick in my short-term memory, so, like, why? You know? Why would I keep it? You know, I, like, don't want to do this to anyone. Like, this is new. I feel too bad decluttering it because it's, like, brand new, but it's not good. I don't know. I'll probably just, like, tell them I don't think it's good, but maybe someone will like it. I don't know. Maybe someone will like it. There's something for everybody, right? These are also completely brand new, but these are the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SPF 15. They have octanoxate in them, and I cannot use them, so those are happily easy to be passed along. I think it's time for Bosma to go. Like this component is failing and I've used almost all of it, right? Mm, that's not almost all of it. What's the, ooh, there's just actually quite a lot left in there. What's the expiration? There's 12 months on this. Maybe I'll just kind of fix the component. I did enjoy this over the summer and maybe I will come back around to it and enjoy it again this summer and we'll just see. So it will survive one more, but I need to like, Pull out my crazy glue. Crazy glue, it might as well be my middle name, Khaki Crazy Glue, cause like I use it on everything. I really love this stuff. This is a great example of something that's just stood the test of time. And I love the finish on a MAC foundation on you know all of their kind of like skin tinty foundations. So this is Studio Radiance Face and Body and I'm keeping it. I don't know why this is in here other than the fact that I'm just kind of disorganized. And this is the Gucci concealer and I'm holding on to it because it's good. It, I just don't recommend you pay that amount of money for it. It's not that good, but it's not bad. Holding on to my Luminous Silk. I do really enjoy this, especially in the summer. It's just a really good balancing foundation from Armani, and this is just the little guy of it, so I could work my way through this. I am keeping the Jones Road What the Foundation on the grounds that it's so strange that I know me. If I get rid of it, I'm gonna buy it again so that I can touch it again just to remember what it feels like. I'm probably not going to wear it, but I'm gonna wanna swatch it to remember what it feels like and what it smells like, you know? Cause it's not my favorite thing in the world, but like it's so unique that like I need it just for reference. This is so old, girl. <sighs> this is the old shade names. We gotta go <laughs> from Glossier. That is like super expired. Okay, we have 1.5. I'm gonna hold on to this from Surat. I actually prefer this one, the Surreal Skin Foundation Wand, and I do have to like declutter anything that's got that brush on the end of it. So that shade doesn't work for me. How, what is the expiration on this little guy? It doesn't say. 
say. This is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer, and while I love this, I think she is donezo. Yeah, mm -mm. kind of smells, kind of smells weird. So um, I'm gonna declutter that just on the grounds of safety. But this is beautiful. Oh, this is hilarious. Look at this. Oh no, the powder just left. This is the Patrick Ta Foundation, and it is just so bad. I'm sorry. This is another case of the entire beauty community was just like, am I doing something wrong? I have seen maybe like two people really make it work and I'm not one of them, so declutter. I've not even opened this yet. I'm not a pressed powder foundation person, but this is the Yenza Super Serum Silk Pressed Powder and I am willing to try it. They just sent this to me, so holding on to that. The Tula Skin Tint, somebody's gonna love that. It just wasn't me, it's fine, but like there are so many skin tints on the market, it's just like, eh, you know, like what do I have to even say about that? I picked up a couple of drugstore skin tints to try them this summer and they're both these are lovely this is the l'oreal true match nude and then this is the sensitive skin serum foundation from neutrogena both totally lovely neither of which is going to get any use from me so i'm going to pass those along this is a beautiful foundation i recommend this to anyone who needs some coverage and some evening out this is the cc plus color correcting full coverage cream from a cosmetics mine is expired i have a couple of these glossier foundations very light four and one in very light three Oh, and another one in, I told y'all, I have so many, and this is in light two. Unlike the Glossier Concealer, I'm not going to get any use out of these. I just don't really like this formula, and so it's pretty much brand new, and I'm going to pass that along. Also, same thing for the Beauty Beauty by Super Luminous Skin Genius Skin Tint, because this is entirely, entirely the wrong shade for me. Abysmal shade range on Doll 10, and just kind of unspecial. Super, super expired Kosas, so this is the Tinted Face Oil, time to declutter. Keeping the house labs just because it's another one of those things that's like if I don't keep it around I'm gonna forget what it does and then I'll just buy it again so I'm not gonna do that to myself. This is expired. This is beautiful though. This is the Well People Bio Tint SPF 30. It's like there are so many skin tints on the market that just behave like a skin tint. Don't pay a fortune for one. You know get one from Well People. I can't keep that unfortunately but oh and I have two of these. I did end up buying myself a new one so this is the Vital Skin Foundation Stick from Westman Atelier and this this one is, I mean, so expired, like 2019 expired. I used it way past its expiration date, never had any complaints, but I did end up buying a new one at the first Credo sale this year. So I have a tell you zero, I love this stuff. I personally really like this. This is the MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen. It's just a great little foundation moment. And I'm gonna hold on to that. Typology Skin Tint is one that I keep around. I like it. It's really beautiful. It always pleasantly surprises me when I put it on. And I think that she's still fine. Same thing goes for, sorry, this is the Diffusion Dew from Make Beauty, and this is in my shade, I believe. This is 01. I feel like I held on to this one because it was my shade. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I want to hold on to one, you know, just to kind of remind myself, but it is probably not going to make it through the next declutter because it'll be expired, but it's so pretty. This is another one that I feel like since it's not expired, I should probably hold on to it. Although there's not a lot of people coming to my channel for like me being the authority on Ritual Defeat. So since it's so new, I think I'm going to actually get like past this along so that somebody gets some use out of it because it's really it's good it's just not for me oh my this is old as the hills this needs to go so this is the glossier skin tint it's really really beautiful but this one is in g11 which means it's the old naming convention which means you know it's expired as hell this is a great little foundation my goodness the sephora best skin ever fondant i just got this and i really like it so Shantae, you stay. Okay, again with the Saint Beauty, Saint Cosmetics. This is just super expired. Euphoria, yeah, they kind of wet the bed on this one. So this is also a really bad shade for me. So I'm going to pass that along. This is the Tower 28 Sunny Days. I'm gonna hold on to this one. This is in 10 Larchmont. I just like it, you know, and I think it can survive one more summer. Maybe this is what I was thinking of. This might be the one. I think that the CC Plus, oh God, I don't know the difference. They have so many of them. The Nude Glow Color Correcting Medium Cover and this is full coverage. Well, they're both really nice, but they're both expired. <laughs> And then we have another one of the wrong shade in Beauty Pie. Unfortunately, I have had this Lisa Eldridge foundation since it was released, so this is definitely it's time. I'm not, I can't put that on my face anymore. Declutter. Keeping my number one day Chanel. I think that this is like getting close to being empty. Like you can see, you know, it's got some, some space open there on the glass. I will probably use this for another summer and then it'll be done so. But I love the idea. See, look, there's, there's emptiness happening there. I just love all my Chanel foundations. And then finally, my one kind of problematic princess that I love so much. So, oh no, there's another one too. Yes, problematic princess 
from Prada that I love so much. You know what? I have no hard feelings against her. I just have hard feelings against their customer service experience, but this is a virtually perfect foundation. And then this is also so lovely. This is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Stick and it's just great. I really feel like this is like a very versatile all season sort of foundation stick for like a lot of different skin types. So very, very good. Okay, we are donating. And we are decluttering. 26, we are decluttering. And we are keeping. 28. I think that, yeah, so far we've kind of like divided things into thirds. Like I'm keeping a third of what I have, which is so cool. Okay, are y'all ready? This is just lips part one. I have two drawers that look just like this. Absolute insanity. <laughs> Okay, so I have to preface this by saying that if it is a lip gloss that I don't want anymore or that is expired, obviously if it's expired, but if I don't want it anymore, I have to declutter it, I cannot donate it. A bullet lipstick you can kind of sanitize, but if I'm even slightly unsure, I'm gonna declutter it. So I have to be pretty, like even more savage than usual on this. Okay, geez. All right, so if it's in the package still, I'm going to hold on to it because you know, these BK lipsticks and stuff that I got, I haven't even had the chance to try them yet. And that makes me a real jerk, honestly, but this looks beautiful, I'm, like excited about that. Oh, I have no idea about these wet lip oils. I feel like you can tell which ones are old and which ones are new. Like I just got this full set. Ones. It is this unhooked review. Yeah, so all, all four of these are new and because they sent me all of them at once basically. So you can see kind of which ones are like lucid and which ones aren't. So I'm gonna hold on to these from Kosas. I'm gonna hold on to this one because it's freaking gorgeous. This is exposed, I love that. But like this, Jellyfish, Ugh, that's nasty. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to all of my Lisa Aldridge Velveteen liquid lip colors. I think they're beautiful and they are pretty darn new. So as you see me go through, I will keep grabbing those and setting them aside. These, you know, they're not my favorite, but I also can't really donate them. These are the EXA ones. They just weren't really it for me. They're like not much comes off on the doe foot and there's a lot of really beautiful unctuous lip glosses out there and this one just wasn't it. Ew, uh, look at that color. Ew! <laughs> Expired! This is the Revolution Ceramide Lip Swirl. It was like, I don't know, supposed to be some kind of drugstore dupe. I spend too much money on drugstore dupes. Blech. So that's expired. I'm holding on to my Tom Ford babies. I love these. They're just lovely and I paid a fortune for them. So those are mine. Oh God, pour one out y'all. Pour one out for Aether. I do have to get rid of these. These are expired and Aether is also not a company anymore. So sadly, goodbye. Yeah, these EXO ones are all ugh. I'm going to pass along the, yikes. Uh, the Sephora lipstick thing. What is this called? A lip story in tan lines. I will sanitize this and I'll sanitize all of them. I have alcohol swabs and I will just pass that along because that is a color that does not work for me. These are not my thing. The little makeup by Mario guys. So I'm going to declutter that. I'm going to... Mm. I don't know. I mean, these are brand new from Fluorosis. I'm gonna hold on to these just for, because they're new, you know? This is Old as the Hills, the uh, Westman Atelier Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm. I'm going to the Saint Garçon to pass that along. Oh boy, my component's coming apart here. Ah, so these are all the lipsticks from Make Beauty and I love kind of giving them to friends when they come over and stuff. Everybody kind of gets to pick out a color that matches the, their mood. And so I'm going to hold on to these. This is an old, e.l.f. plumping lip gloss. It's a beautiful formula, but it's old. The Tower 28 ones last about five minutes, so these are super expired and it's time to go. I'm going to hold on to Unzipped. This is actually my favorite shade in the wet lip oils. I'm gonna keep all the Rare Beauty lip tint things because I can't pass them along to anybody that I don't know, but I'm not gonna pass them along to a stranger and I think that they're too nice and new to just throw them out, you know? This is a very old glossy lip gloss. Time to go, baby girl. Oh, these are those new ones from LH Cosmetics. You know, I like these. They smell really good and I'm gonna hold on to them. I just think they're pretty. This is Soup's 
expired from Kosas. I have tons of those. This is wildly expired. The Hourglass Unreal in Provoke. Yeah, this is one of my favorite lip glosses, but like it's, she's done. This is also like, they don't make this anymore. And this is definitely not the color it was when I bought it. This is a Givenchy Rose Perfecto lip balm or whatever. And I never really liked it anyway. And they have since reformulated it and it's done so. All right, keeping all my little rare beauty guys, keeping you. I bought this because Steph made me buy it. I was like at Ulta and it's really cute. This is actually, this is just a lift, lifter gloss from L'Oreal and I'm going to, I'm sorry, from Maybelline. Y'all know I can't keep the drugstore brand straight. The only thing is it smells so strong, but it's not bad. It's just really sweet, but I'm gonna hold on to it. I like it. It's a pretty color. This Yenza lip gloss is so pretty. This is like what I would recommend if you like a color changing lip gloss. You just look good in hot pink, like wear that instead. This doesn't have a pH color changer in it. It's just pretty. Ooh, and it smells like watermelon. Yeah, Oma by Sharon C. These didn't really do it for me. So I'm gonna declutter those. Obviously holding on to all of my candy glaze from YSL. I'm gonna hold on to all of my Kosas lipsticks. They just sent me these this year. So they're all very new and very lovely. This Love Swipe from Kaja is expired. I'm absolutely positive. Same goes for the Glaze number seven from In Beauty Project. They did just join Shop My Shelf and I'm hoping that that means they'll do a little bit of gifting where I can try some more shades because this color just wasn't it for me. I'm gonna pass along this LYS lipstick. This is a perfect candidate to be passed along because it's a great color, it's a great formula, and it's sanitizable, and it just didn't work for me. Gotta match it up, there we go. This is another disgustingly expired wet lip oil. Ooh, Moth Beauty sent me a bunch of stuff that I haven't even gotten to try yet. It kind of all coincided with like me starting to do my year-end roundups, so they sent me a bunch of like lipsticks and some more palettes and stuff, so definitely going to hold on to those and try those for you soon. This is the Serum Balm that it's not supposed to look like that. That's that's really weird. It's not weird, it's just, you know, gross. From Make Beauty, so this is one I think I bought myself, but she's done, time to get rid of her. This is a beautiful shade in the Black Magic from Uma, and let's see. Yeah, it's just a really pretty kind of like sheer caramel. I'm gonna hold on to that, I like it. Oh, God bless. One of my viewers sent me some stuff from Lise Watier, and then actually two of my viewers did, both Canadian viewers, and these are sadly expired, but I do wanna thank them for sending them because they are just lovely. Ooh. Ew. No, it's okay. It just settled on the sides. This is the Victoria Beckham Picante lip gloss and it is so excellent. I think that these typology guys need to be decluttered. Typology is, you know, a clean brand with not a lot of preservatives and stuff. And I have had my use with these and they all kind of came in different PR packages. Like they sent them to me a bunch of times. And so like, I don't know which ones are new and which ones are used, which sucks. So I, I kind of have to just in good conscience, get rid of them. Holding on to my YSL lipsticks, holding on to my La Perla lipsticks, more Aether by Aether. You know, obviously holding on to the Rare Beauty lip glosses. Sorry, I'm getting a little lost in the sauce here. This Tower 28, this is the mauve one. I did buy this, but like, again, you can already tell that's not the color it was when it came. So gotta go. Old Milani, time to go. Old Westman Atelier, Nana, love it, but time to go. Oh my God. Remember when I was obsessed with Pat McGrath lip glosses? Like not anymore. I don't know. They're fine, but like I had a moment with them and I'm kind of over it. They're just kind of a little too sticky and they give me the white ring of death and some cases. So very, like very interesting, but I just don't see myself reaching for that again. As much as I loved this, I just didn't get as much use out of it as I thought I was going to. And it's definitely done so. This is so pretty though. This is called Amber Sparkle. It's from Anastasia. It's breathtaking in person, but it's definitely expired. Oh my gosh. This is a Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah. Lip gloss. I didn't even know I had this. I don't know. I have no idea when I got this, but it doesn't smell bad and it looks new. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it. Opal magic. When did I buy this? Aether. Aether, Aether. Here is another Make Beauty. Beautiful, but it's done so. Time to go. The Makeup by Mario. God, I don't even think, I don't even think that I've used that once. Soft blush. I don't even know if I knew I had that. Cool pink. I haven't used either of these. The ones that y'all saw me swatch in the video are the only ones that I've used. So these are actually brand new, like totally unswatched. I'm going to donate those. It's actually hard to find things to donate. Oh my God, pour one out for PYT. That was another company that died this year. Sorry. Sorry, PYT. More Aether. Gonna keep my LH Cosmetics. She's just really good at making like sheer wearable 
horrible stuff. The Refi lip gloss is mid. I'm gonna keep my Rare Beauty lipsticks because I think that this is a great release. Here is another Lise Watier that is expired, but I did use quite a bit of it. You can see that. This is really cool. It's got this like great kind of like party glitter suspension in it, but she's she's done. Here is Velvet Fawn, which I'm sure is expired by this point, but I'm gonna hold on to it just for swatching purposes because I don't know, I just feel like Lisa Eldridge is like landmark stuff. This has gotta go. This is that Sephora lip gloss that like makes your whole mouth light on fire and I don't want it. The Bobbi Brown matte lipsticks, Luxe matte lipsticks, yes. These are beautiful and I'm gonna hold on to those. This is a much older lifter gloss that I bought that is expired so I'm going to get rid of that. Wow, no, you'll pry that from my cold dead hands. That's the Glossier Clip Coconut Balm.com. I don't care if it's expired, I'm keeping it. More Kosa's lipsticks, they stay. What is this? Oh my God, I think I was the only person in the world that liked this. This is the Patrick Ta, it don't smell right anymore. No, it does not. This is the Patrick Ta plumping lip gloss. I liked it, but no one else did, but it's super expired. Yeah, the Exa still gotta go. More Aether, bless her heart. She sent me a lot of lab samples while she was working on these. So that's why I have so many. More Aether Beauty, I mean, sorry, more Rare Beauty lipsticks, those stay. Typology, gotta go. The Makeup by Mario, these guys, the like stick ones, I like those, I'll keep those. This is another Pat McGrath lip gloss that's just like not my vibe anymore and obviously expired. Holding on to, again, like an unopened lipstick here from BK. About Face, is this the eye one? This is the liquid lipstick. I enjoyed these, but like I, I'm not gonna use a liquid lipstick that's like that color. It was cool for a minute, but like I'm gonna get rid of that. But like the unopened ones, I'm gonna go ahead and pass those along. Keeping my Sephora collection, I'm just holding things in my hand and not talking about them. Keeping my Sephora collection lipsticks, keeping all of my Kosa lipsticks. These are kind of the more sheer ones and they sent those all to me. I was watching videos of those on my Instagram if you're interested. What is this? L'Oreal, yeah, not interested. This is a very old dip. That is not the color dip is supposed to be. I'm going to hold on to all of my Naturium Fido Glow lip balm things. They're very, very new. They're nice, so I'm gonna hold on to them. More Kosas, more Aether. I'm gonna keep all of my hourglass balmy gloss, glossy balm things because I love them. This can go, I rarely, if ever, am even interested in buying something from Huda, but this was like kind of a gimmicky lip plumper and I didn't like it, so bye. This is a perfectly good clear lip gloss from M Cosmetics, but it's expired and I think she's already like reformulated it. So that's gonna go. Keeping my Lisa Eldridge stuff. In fact, I have, she, I went and met her, right? And so she gave me a little thing of, a few more of her items essentially, and I already own them. So like this I can pass along because it's brand new and unopened and I already have it. What is this? Oh, Victoria Beckham Fizz. Not my favorite, but still something nice to have. Still in the package. That can get donated. This is beautiful. This actually reminds me a lot of Chanel Boy. This is the Clinique lipstick in bamboo pink. It's lovely. I'm gonna hold on to that. More typology, more Kosas, more typology. These were really lovely from Beauty Pie. I highly recommend their lip glosses. These are their Collagen Lip Oil Plus, and they have like a really fantastic finish to them. Like they have that really nice liquid lip balm feeling, but these are expired. LH Cosmetics, I love all of these. I love all of them. Um, they're so good. So I'm gonna hold on to that. RMS, these are, these are weird. So I'm gonna hold on to Mickey and then I'm going to sanitize and pass along all the other ones. Here's another collagen lip oil from Beauty Pie. So beautiful, but expired unfortunately. The Victoria Beckham, these are definitely expired also. I'm just not a fan of these like lip stain things, her like bitten lip tints, not for me. Uh, a ColourPop lippy sticks that, ew, mm -mm, nobody wants that. What's this? Oh my God, these Bare Minerals lip glosses are so goopy. No thank you, no one wants that. Keeping my Make Beauty. I'm going to, this was a really interesting shade. This is Hater from Trixie Cosmetics, but like this just isn't my vibe. I'm just gonna declutter it. Yeah, decluttering my like drugstore L'Oreal stuff here. I'm gonna hold on to this. This is pretty new. This is another Sephora collection one and it's just like a nice clear lip gloss with some shimmer to it. This is the shade Lover, it's pretty. This made absolutely no difference to me. This is the Dior Lip Plumper Lip Maximizer and it's definitely done so by now. We have something still in the package. This is an M Cosmetics Soft Spoken Velvet Lip Cream. Not necessarily a formula for me, so I will pass that along since it's still in the package. This is kind of a nightmare color from Laura Mercier. I just, ew. <sighs> 
<laughs> no thank you. I'm gonna declutter this. I have no idea when, how long I've had it. Like that's the problem. Another Bitten Lip Tint. Eh, and charade. I'm over it. This is a Gucci lipstick that I bought very recently. Very beautiful. Gonna hold on to that. That's in the shade Lynette Stone. This is uh, Hindash's lipsticks that he came out with. I'm holding on to these for, I mean, obviously collectible reasons. There's another one in the other drawer, but also, you know, that's my free hand. Holding on to, like I said, my rare beauty ones. Holding on to the LH Cosmetics. This clear lip gloss is gorgeous. I have this Kaja. This is like a pineapple lip scrub thing, whatever. I can always use something like this. You know, it's got the lip scrub on top or I, I don't know, but it's a nice thing and it smells like pineapple. Tower 28, like if I haven't seen it in a few months, it's expired. What is this? Another, oh, the Laura Mercier ones. It, they're still, they're right on par with the Bare Minerals in terms of just being so goopy. I don't understand. These were such a fail for me. This is by Naked Sundays. These are an SPF lip gloss and they taste awful. This is a replacement for the lipstick case from House of Siage. I just like to keep these around. Also going to keep my lip butters from About Face. I love these. Like, you know, while this isn't really my thing, I love the lip butters. So that's good. Another L'Oreal one that can go. This PYT, that's, I was about to say, is that a lip gloss? Cause that's gross. No, this is a clear eyebrow gel. I don't know why. I guess I, I thought it was a lip gloss and put it in the drawer. That's really gross. That's going to go. More typology. I think I'm going to get, these are super expired. I'm going to get rid of the Glossier Ultra Lip. It's just not something that appeals to me and I feel like I say the same spiel about it every time. I'm just like, the colors just weren't for me and the formula's fine. All right, Sigma Renew Lip Oil. This is actually remarkably beautiful. And I just got this in May, so I'm gonna hold on to that. What is this? Have I used this? Yes, I have. This is beautiful, actually. That's right, this is the clear one. This is the Pink Glow from Makeup by Mario. I'm gonna hold on to that. This unfortunately is expired. This is a lovely Thrive Cosmetics, just kind of like lip treatment oil thing, but she's gotta go. And then... For some reason, I have one of the eye lights in here. That's, no, it's not. No, that's the lip lights from RMS. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll hold on to that. This is just a nice nourishing lip balm that I completely forgot existed, and that's why we do this. Prados lip gloss, this is very beautiful. Actually, I haven't had it that long, so I'm gonna hold on to that. It's a really pretty clear lip gloss. This, I don't know. I mean, it's just a little sample. I don't think anybody really wants that, but I will sanitize it and pass it along, but this is the Armani 111. It's matte, it's just not for me. We have Surat, ew, that's not my color. Face why? Face why? Uh, me in French. I'm gonna, I'm gonna declutter that. My love swipes are all decluttering because they're all expired. And another Rare Beauty lip oil. Oh, and then I have a lightly used Laneige sleeping mask in vanilla, which Shantae, but you stay, baby. Okay, so that means because of kind of the unique nature of lip products in general, passing along 14, 13 out of this round of lip product. Okay, and I will be... I will be decluttering 84 lip products out of that drawer. There's still more. Okay, and that means I'm keeping. Ninety. I'm keeping ninety out of that drawer. I know that doesn't sound like progress, but it is. Y'all ready? Lips part two. Whoa! Shoot. I gotta keep it separate from all the other stuff. Okay, let's go. Here's Velvet Ribbon from Lisa Eldridge. I'm going to hold on to that. I did not have that before. This might go a little bit faster because we've already talked about, you know, some of the larger decisions. Like I'm keeping everything from YSL, for example. Like that's easy. God, do we need more Kosa's wet lip oils? I cannot believe how many there are. Uh, yeah, I got Ofra in gifting. I'm <clears throat> not gonna be talking about Ofra on my channel. This is PH Color changing. It's very cute, but not for me. This is from Oma by Sharon C. Cute little kits from Bobbi Brown. I already have like full sizes of these things, so I'm going to pass those along. That'll be cute for someone to get. Obviously, I keep my House of Siage stuff. I love these. They're beautiful. Why do I have an old baby lips from Maybelline? I have no freaking idea. These are done. I don't need them. I'm kind of over the Chantecaille lips, so declutter. Keeping my Prada lipstick. Beautiful. House of Siage. You know, and then there are a lot of things in this drawer that are really new like the one from Florasis. Gonna hold on to her because, I mean, look at this. Look at this component anyway. It's ridiculous. YSL, holding on to YSL. This is a Givenchy, really beautiful, soft matte liquid lip, and I'm gonna hold on to that. This is in the shade 10. Victoria Beckham, this is my favorite. This is bikini. I just repurchased this this year. Of course, I'm holding on to her. Of course I am. 
This is just the case for that little bow. So let's do that. This is one that I mixed myself by. It was just for like a short form. Holding on to all, like I said, of my Make Beauty lip sticks because they're great. And it's also a replaceable component. Shantikai, Shantae, you don't stay, sorry. Revlon, uh, yuck, ew. Okay, we're done here. More Mob Beauty that they sent me that hasn't even been used yet. So holding on to that. I have two Bobbi Brown, one's in buff and one's in Cezanne Nude. I'm gonna hold on to those. I love the crushed lip colors. Gonna hold on to my Finding Ferdinand lip gloss with the Limoncello scent. My Sephora collection stays. YSL stays. This is Beige Trench, absolutely gorgeous. All my Kosa's lipsticks stay. Pour one out because all these Thrive ones have to go. They are all expired. Like I said, keeping my lip color butter from About Face because they're great. Keeping my Lisa Eldridge Velveteen lip colors because they're great. The RMS ones, the only one that I'm gonna keep is Mickey because it's just the one that I like. It's just such a bold formula. If like a color doesn't work for you, it's hard to get it to work for you. You know what I mean? This I think is a Clinique shade that is, yikes, holy macaroni. I'm going to, I think declutter that. That's old. More make, more make. I have one here from Cheekbone. This is beautiful. Look at that color. Oh my word. Gonna hold on to that. It's an indigenous brand, so beautiful. Obviously keeping my lip power from Armani. I don't know why this wasn't in my new, I guess I just, in my brain, it just didn't live in like the, I forgot what color it was inside the package. That's so silly. That's a really, really beautiful beige. Like ridiculously beautiful. Here is my Givenchy La Rouge Sheer Velvet, which I love, gonna hold on to that. All my liquid lip colors from Lisa Eldridge, like I said, about face. I don't know, I got talked into this. This just isn't it for me. This is the Happy Kiss from Charlotte Tilbury and it's very expired. Road, Shantae You Stay. I haven't even opened these. I bought these myself and I haven't even opened them yet. The LH Cosmetics lip glosses, Shantae You Stay. YSL, Bobbi Brown, all staying. Expired Lise Watier, beautiful, but time to go. These are all House of Siage replacements for, you know, the lipstick case. They sent me these a long time ago, but they're totally unused for the most part and I love them. So like keeping those around. My Tom Ford lip oil is Perfect, so, you know, she stays. Another Kaja Love Swipe, time to go. Another Typology, time to go. And what is this? Yeah, this is one of the silver replacements for the House of Siage. This Live Tinted, not my thing, time to go. Another RMS one. I'm running out of brain space if you can't tell. I'm keeping all of my Bobbi Brown Lux mattes, like I said. I'm gonna keep my NARS Breathless. It's very, very pretty, and no one would want that with what I've done to it. I have two of the Auric Flush Rituals here that I got in PR. They're absolutely beautiful and I want to get more use out of them this year. Again, decluttering my ultra lips, keeping my rare beauty. This is a Bobbi Brown little lip gloss that came in like a cute little set. I'm going to see if I like it. I'm not sure. More Fido Glow lip balms, more Bobbi Brown. I'm going to pass along my Hourglass lipsticks. They're just not my thing. Some Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. These are so beautiful. This is, oh, okay, cool. She gave me another Velvet Fawn. That's fantastic. Okay, so I can declutter the other Velvet Fawn because, and this is Velvet Muse. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, and then I have Velvet Affair. That's wonderful. So I'll hold on to these and I'll declutter the old one. That's wonderful. Another Finding Ferdinand. Yum, yum, yum. More Make Beauty. More Bobby Brown. This drawer is going quickly. This is an info from NARS, which I love. Oh my God, the biggest joke in the world. Freaking Simi Hayes Beauty, goodbye, declutter, stupid. Yuck, I hate drugstore packaging. This is just not for me. Uh, more typology. I just, unfortunately, I just don't know how long I've had them. These are brand new. These are little Bobby Brown guys. I just, I think that these are really cute. That looks like the, um, look at that. That looks like the Pat McGrath one that I just decluttered. So, you know, maybe that'll replace it. Who knows? It's really pretty though. A Lancome Juicy Tube, because I am who I am. This I haven't even gotten a chance to like use yet. This is from M Cosmetics and we shall see. We shall just see. I'm gonna hold on to her. More of the Hourglass Balmy Glosses, the Rode Peptide Lip Tint, Lip Balm things that I love. What is this? This is Kaja. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. No, I've had this for so long that I forgot about it, which means that it's expired. Here is a Beauty Pie. Is this is Beauty Pie? Jeez, that's pretty. Wow. Unfortunately, that is definitely expired. If it's not in my mind palace anymore, like who knows how old it is kind of thing. So yeah, again, we were really overdue on this one. That's why there's so many that I'm getting rid of. Like for example, I have held on to a Bite Agave lip balm, which this is not even the one that has lanolin in it. It's just old. 
gross by this. Saint Cosmetics, time to go, baby. Sigma, completely unopened, but it's a liquid lipstick. I'm gonna donate that. Kierweiss, I'm just holding on to this because of the component, because the component is replaceable. I don't like this color, and I don't like this formula, and I don't like the smell. Kaja Milk Tea, definitely expired. Super beautiful, but super expired. I can't donate this, but I don't want it either. And this is one of the little souffle lips from Rare Beauty. More Bobby Brown. Oh, yeah, this was part of the Zara Beauty collection. Eh. Curology sent this. This is pretty cool, but definitely expired. Moral H Cosmetics, these little lip balm dudes are amazing. I love them for summertime. Rare Beauty lip oils. I know I'm being repetitive here. Hourglass. I'm just like picking up all the ones that like I have like the full collection of. And ah, see, this is why with cheekbone, that's why I didn't have it in my, my mind palace. See, that's not even used. This came in, in gifting. So I'm going to donate that because that's beautiful and I don't wear red. That's why I didn't have it in my head as like having a nude in cheekbones because I knew I had a red. So these all stay. This stays. This is poolside from Victoria Beckham. Love it. This is actually a little bit newer. I feel like they sent me this maybe like last holiday and this is the petal liquid lip balm from Westman Atelier. So I'm just gonna keep it because, you know, no one wants my germs, but at the same time, it's brand new. Woo! Yeah, obviously, Prune Noir stays from Hermes. My newer Givenchy lip colors. Wow. Uh, is that totally unused? No, it's not totally unused, but definitely sanitizable. Maybe I'll save that for Steph. I'm gonna see Steph soon, and she loves, she loves these kinds of things. So I will probably give her that. And then we have one right here, yeah, in a much more wearable shade for me in 16. And this is the La Rouge Sheer Velvet again. Keeping that, and then we have that beautiful black balm that kind of color changes on the lips. Not really my thing, but I wanted it for so long just to understand what it did that I'm not going to like want to repurchase it. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Unearthly Cosmetics, this is the wildest component ever. I have never used this, so I can donate that. The Last Glossier Ultra Lip, goodbye. Chantikai, goodbye. Axiology, oh my God, this is completely unused. Again, this kind of came in gifting from like a big box of different kind of clean brands, so. I can pass that along. Passing along my RMS. This is unfortunately sugar buns. This is discontinued and expired from Bite Beauty. This Beauty Pie lipstick is also expired. This is LH Cosmetics. All her stuff is so beautiful. I'm keeping that. Keeping Chanel Boy, obviously. Keeping all of my Phyto Glow lip balms. Wow, could that look more expired? That's disgusting. That is the Natasha Denona My Dream lip gloss. This is a Victoria Beckham. I think it's my first Victoria Beckham clear lip gloss. I'm calling that an empty, honestly. So, goodbye. Typology, expired beauty pie. I haven't used beauty pie in like over a year, so. Refill for House of Siage. Another Lauren, where did these come from? I don't even remember when I got these, but this is totally unused, so I can donate that. You know, keeping my newer stuff from Fluorosis. This from Ismaya. Okay. Yikes, don't want that. Definitely donating that. I am gonna keep my other Isamea though, the black one. I like this one. It's pretty and I like to have it. There's a lot of brands coming out with black lip glosses right now and it's just good to have a comparison. In fact, this is the one from Finding Ferdinand that is so awesome. So I'm gonna hold on to that as well. Bobby Brown, here, let's make sure y'all can see the rest of these. We have, you know, Hindash Call Me Peaches, which is, you know, quite orange on me, but still I'm keeping it for posterity because I love him. And we have a Gen C, which is just not my color, and I will donate that. Sanitize and donate, same thing for this Hourglass lipstick, which looks like it would be my ideal shade, but it's just too pink for me. Beauty Pie, another expired baby from Beauty Pie. Keep my Rare Beauty, guys. Keep my Bobbi Brown. Obviously keep my La Perla. Pour one out for Bite Chai, one of my favorite lipsticks ever, but expired. Another LH Cosmetics, fantastic. That's like not really my color, but they're balmy, so it's okay. And then RMS, Keeping Makeup by Mario, Blush Glow. These are all just really pretty. Keeping my Clarins Lip Oil and keeping Nude de Soleil. Even though it's not like my favorite favorite, it's still nice to have from Syrah. So that went a lot faster. I am donating two, 18. I am decluttering 44 from this round, decluttering 44. And I'm keeping I'm keeping out of just that drawer. It's an encyclopedic collection, y'all. Cut me some slack. <laughs>